Russian forces are focusing a barrage of attacks along the front in two Ukrainian cities in the eastern Donetsk region. That's according to Ukraine's military, as Kyiv said on Sunday it repelled more than 40 enemy strikes over 24 hours. According to the General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces, fighting has been heaviest along the western approaches to Bakhmut, which, along with Avdivka, have been targeted by Russia's military. Russian forces have been besieging Bakhmut for months in the longest battle in more than a year of war. In his nightly video address, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky denounced Russian airstrikes coinciding with the observance of Orthodox Palm Sunday. Every bright Christian holiday teaches us that we may not know how, but we must be sure that evil will lose. We have to bring the defeat of evil closer, and we are bringing it closer. Zelensky also lashed out at Moscow over the deaths of a 50-year-old man and his 11-year-old daughter, who were killed as Russian forces struck their home in the southeastern city of Zaporizhia. Ukraine's state emergency service said a woman identified as the wife and mother of the victims was pulled alive from under the rubble. This is how the terrorist state spends Palm Sunday. This is how Russia puts itself in even greater isolation from the world and from humanity. The majority of Ukraine's 41 million people are Orthodox Christians who celebrate Easter a week from now. Russia's defense ministry said on Sunday its forces had destroyed a depot with 70,000 tons of fuel near Zaporizhia. It added that Russian troops had destroyed Ukrainian army warehouses storing missiles, ammunition and artillery in the regions of Zaporizhia and Donetsk. Reuters could not verify the battlefield reports.